<clears throat> Does Sir Charles uh, know you're coming? No, I wanted to remain a surprise. Nerd. Huh? What's wrong? Your pepper platter is refusing to pep out. Oh. It's supposed to pop out automatically when it reaches a specific temperature. What exactly is this specific temperature? I don't know. Well, you should have checked with the factory, because it is obvious that this pop-out lighter has reached this specific pop-out temperature and is refusing to pop out. The first rule for the car runner, know your automobile. But it is your automobile. I know that. But it is not my pop-out lighter. If it were my pop-out lighter, I would know the specific pop-out temperature. <laughs> Clouseau was trying to fix the lighter. He's sure that someone planted a bomb in the car. Yes. Someone should have, I mean, could have done that. He wired Scotland Yard and said he was arriving in disguise. Disguise? Uh, what kind of disguise? Disguise as what? Say. Well, how are we going to tell how to look for him? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Please return to your seat and fasten your seat belt as there is turbulence ahead. Thank you.
yes, very good trip. Morning, sir. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, Drummond from Scotland Yard. I am André Betteur, mustard salesman from Dijon. Oh, uh, uh, can I give you a lift, uh, Monsieur Boteau? It would be very kind of you, Mr. Yard. Drummond. Yes, and how is Scotland these days? Pardon? Scotland. I... I... I've uh, some relations who are from Scotland, uh, my grandmother and my father's side. I'm quite fluent in the Gaelic, you know. Oh. It is the night of Brobrach Moons on the night of Gladys. Yes. Inspector McLaren, this is Mr. Boto, uh, from Dijon. How do you do? I was just telling Sergeant Yard about my uh, father-in-law's sister on my sergeant's side, you know. Oh, yes. 